Good morning, great to see you all again. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my three favorite landscape photography lenses. In the right-hand window, it's a super wide, 16 to 35 millimeter lens. On my Fuji, it's my 10 to 24 lens. In the middle window, it's the fast, nifty 50 so this is a 50 millimeter sigma 1.4 lens i absolutely love this lens and in the left hand window we've got the 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 lens if i could have any lens for landscape photography i probably would just take this one lens so today i'm going to talk about these lenses why i like them so much and i'm going to give you some top tips and tricks for using them and getting the most out of them for landscape photography Okay, let's go. So this is an amazing place. It is Goit Valley, which is covered in rhododendrons at the moment, which just look absolutely fantastic. So yeah, so I wanna talk about my lenses. And although I don't talk a huge amount about gear on this channel, because I think the most important thing is just getting out and taking photos. I think what camera you've got doesn't make a huge amount of difference. But once you start to improve your compositional skills, you start to get better photos, then what you're gonna to want to do is get better lenses. Because lenses can make a significant improvement and change what you're trying to do for composition. So I'm gonna talk about these three lenses today and give you some ideas of where you can use them and show you some photos I've taken with them in the past. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's start with the lens that's most synonymous with landscape photography, and that is the wide angle lens. So on my Nikon, I use the 16 to 35 millimeter F4. Now, the reason I use this over the other wide angle um, that's slightly wider than this by Nikon is that I can get filters onto the front of it, which makes it much easier to use. And I quite often have graduated ND filters on the front of this, this lens. But the, the reason that um, I like a super wide angle lens, more than probably the sort of 24 millimeter lens, is at that sort of 60 millimeters, you get a different perspective on things. So things change. And um, part, part of the thing in photography is trying to come up with an image that's creative and different. So by using a different perspective, then that can make a big difference. I also love using the wide angle lens on my Fuji X-T2. Now I use the 10 to 24 millimeter lens. It's so, so good, this lens. So I know with this lens that I can focus on the further subject and at 10 millimeters and around about F10, everything's gonna be sharp down to my feet pretty much. Okay, so let's talk about focus and a super wide angle lens because that's something that comes up a lot and it's my top tip for when you're using a wide angle lens. So I quite often use this 10 to 24 millimeter lens on my Fuji X-T2 handheld. And at 10 millimeters, obviously you can have a reasonably slow shutter speed. It's got iOS on it. So I can probably go down to about a 10th of a second quite easily and handhold it. So it means that I can take lots of landscape shots with this camera and this lens combination. But when I focus at, at such a wide focal length, then it's really easy to get everything in focus. There's a lot of talk about hyperfocal distance and people always say to me, why don't you use hyperfocal distance? Well, the reason I don't is it's just too complicated. Obviously it's the most accurate method of getting the most out of your lens and the best way of focusing your lens and camera combination. But if I can just show you this, I've got photo pills here on my phone and hopefully you can see this. Um, I've set it up at Fuji X-T2, 10 millimeters at F8 and I've focused at a thousand meters, so that's infinity effectively. And that means that I can focus as close as 62 centimeters. So everything from 62 centimeters to the mountain at infinity in the distance. So it means that I now know that pretty much everything's gonna be in focus. I can get flowers really close to me in focus. And I, I know that I can nail it every time. I don't have to calculate the hyperfocal distance. And that's one of the reasons I love using a wide angle lens. I just don't have to worry about focus too much. I put it on F8, it's a really good part of the lens and it just means that I can get everything in focus. And these photos here that will appear have been taken with my Fuji X-T2 handheld at exactly those settings. And I love it for those reasons. I can do exactly the same as well with my 16 to 35 millimeter on my Nikon. 
The reason I love the Fuji so much is just really light. Okay, so my next lens is the Nifty 50. So the reason I like this prime lens so much is, and the, the, the ones I use are a Sigma 50 millimeter F 1.4 for my Nikon. The links are in the description, by the way, and a 35 millimeter F 2 for my Fuji. I find that a prime lens is just a great way of improving your photography. So I did a video actually just about using my 35 millimeter Fuji. It was a challenge I did with Steve Hanna. Um, just going out, I was restrict restricted myself to 24 exposures. I've linked it here. By, by actually re reducing the options that you've got, reducing the fact that you can't zoom in and zoom out, you've got to move with your feet to get the composition means that it actually improves your photography. You've got to think about the composition a little bit more. So I really like it for that reason, but also the optics on these lenses are usually really good. So um, certainly on, on this Fuji 35 millimeter lens, the, the optics are just amazing. I took this photo here that is showing now in a Buttermere in the Lake District. It's one of my favorite images from the last year. And that was taken with my Fuji 35 millimeter lens. It's just superb optics and, and there's lots for Canon or Panasonic or Sony that are exactly the same. They're usually really, really good optics. The other thing is that you can get creative with them as well. So they're usually a really large aperture. So F 1.4 in this case and F 2 in this case. So it means that you can have some great bokeh on it as well. Okay, the final of my three lenses that I love for landscape photography is this long lens. So in my case, I use a 70 to 200 millimeter F 2.8 Nikon lens. I absolutely love this lens. This is the first generation. So I think I've had this for maybe 10 years, maybe even more in fact. There's just so many things that I like about using a long lens in landscape photography. It allows you on poor quality, poor light quality days to really get in close, cut out the sky. You might have blue sky, it might be overcast and dull. So you can cut that sky out and look at elements of the landscape. Maybe it's a ridge or maybe part of a mountain. With stabilization, you can hand hold it as well. So I took this shot of this amazing snowy mountain in Scotland. The cloud was just coming over and then this cloud just disappeared. And as I was taking it, and if I hadn't been able to just get my camera out of my bag, stick my long lens on and just hand hold it, I would have missed this shot. But the 70 to 200 allowed me to get this moment and this really sort of minimalistic image. And I really like the way the cloud sort of balances the image really well. Then the other thing you can do with it is, is intimate landscapes. So you can get close. You can use it instead of a macro lens. I talked about it recently um, on my, my Bluebell videos about how you can get really amazing out of focus with, with this lens as well, just like the um, 1.4 50 millimeter. But with the 70 millimeter, it really, uh, really compresses the perspective as well. So you can pick out a flower. And by just putting something just in front of the lens, you can have out of focus foreground and out of focus background. And that allows you to be super creative with this 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a little bit different. I've not taken so many shots in this, uh, this area, but sometimes it's good and just to explore it and just enjoy your environment. Me and Pebbles have had a great time walking around here. And until next Sunday, bye. Pebbles down here is pulling the grass to bits. <laughs> Let's go and do it over there somewhere.